Good day, kids! Welcome to another day of our online class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Week 8, Quarter 2. Our lesson for today is about Visualizes multiplication of numbers 1 to 10 by 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. Before we start our lesson, Let's review our last topic about the properties of multiplication. There are three properties of multiplication. First is, identity property of multiplication. Multiplying a number by 1 will give a product that is the same number. Example, 1 times 8 equals 8. Second is, zero property of multiplication. Multiplying a number by 0 is equal to 0. Example, 18 times 0 equals 0. And thirdly is, commutative property of multiplication. Changing the order of the factors does not change the product. Example, 7 times 3 equals 21. Or, 3 times 7 equals 21. What is multiplication? Multiplication is shortcut for repeated addition. There are different parts of multiplication. For example, 6 times 4 equals 24. 6 and 4 are called factors. And 24 is called product. So the parts of multiplication are the factors and the product. What is factors? Factors are the numbers we multiply. And what is product? Product is the answer in multiplication. Now let's learn about our topic for today. Let's study about multiplication by twos. Let's start with this problem. Rosalie has six pairs of school socks. How many socks does she have? To find the answer, we can First, count by twos Second, add by twos And third, multiply to find the total number of socks Six sets of twos are twelve Let's count the pairs One, two, three, four, five, six Six pairs of socks. We write 6 times 2 equals 12. Or we can write it in vertical form, like this. 6 times 2 equals 12. Therefore, she has 12 socks in all. Escape counting by 2's may be used to multiply any number by 2. For example, let's count the socks by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Let's try skip counting by 2's up to 50. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Let's answer the missing factors and product. How many sets of balloons do you see? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct! There are 5 sets of balloons. Next, how many balloons in each set? Correct! There are 2 balloons in each set. How many balloons in all? Let's count by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Correct! There are 10 balloons in all. We say 
5 times 2 equals 10. Now, let's learn about multiplication by trees. Mara helped in their flower shop. She tied the roses in bunches of trees. If she was able to tie 5 bunches, how many roses were there? We can add like this. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 15. There are 5 groups of 3. We can also multiply. 5 times 3 equals 15. Or, we can write it in vertical form. 5 times 3 equals 15. Therefore, there were 15 roses in all. Skip counting by trees may be used to multiply any number by 3. For example, let's count the flowers by trees. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Let's try skip counting by trees up to 30. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Now, let's answer the missing factors and products. How many sets of balls do you see? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 sets of balls. How many balls in each set? Correct! There are 3 number of balls in each set. Now, how many balls in all? Let's count by trees. 3, 6, 9, 12. There are 12 balls in all. We say 4 times 3 equals 12. Now, let's learn about multiplication by fours. The children made rag dolls. They used four balls of yarn for each doll. How many balls of yarn did they use for five dolls? The children made five dolls. They used four yarns for each doll so we can multiply them. We write five times four equals twenty. Or, we can also write it in vertical form. 5 times 4 equals 20. We say 5 times 4 equals 20. They use 20 yarns in all. Multiplication by fours is the same as skip counting by fours. Multiplication is a short way for repeated addition. For example, let's count the balls of yarns by fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Let's do a skip counting by fours up to 40. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Now let's write the missing factors and product. How many sets of cherries do you see? Let's count. 1, 2, 3. Correct! There are 3 sets of cherries. How many cherries do you see in each set? Correct! There are 4 number of cherries in each set. How many cherries in all? Let's count by fours. 4, 8, 12. There are 12 cherries in all. Next, let's learn about multiplication by fives. Look at your hands. What have you noticed? They have lines known as fingerprints and handprints. Your classmates have these lines too. 
but you all have different fingerprints and handprints. How many hands do you have? Correct! You have two hands. We have two hands. How many fingers does each hand have? Correct! Each hand has five fingers. How many fingers do you have in all? Correct! We have ten fingers in all. We say five plus five equals ten. We write two times five equals ten. Two hands times five fingers equals ten. Multiplication by fives is the same as skip counting by fives. Multiplication is a short way for repeated addition. Multiplication table of five is one of the easiest tables because skip counting by fives is easy. Let's do skip counting by fives up to 100. Are you ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now let's answer the missing factors and product. How many sets of cupcakes do you see? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 sets of cupcakes. How many cupcakes do you see in each set? Correct! There are 5 cupcakes in each set. Next! How many cupcakes in all? Let's count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20. Correct! There are 20 cupcakes in all. Now, let's learn about multiplication by tens. How many bowls of apples are there? Let's count. Correct! There are 10 bowls of apples. How many apples are there in each bowl? Let's count. Correct! There are 10 apples in each bowl. How many apples are there in all? Let's count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There are 100 apples in all. We write 10 times 10 equals 100. Now, let's do the following activities, by twos and by threes. Write your answer in your notebook. Multiply by fours and by fives. And multiply by tens. Very good, kids! Now you know how to multiply by 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. So again, our topic is about visualizes multiplication of numbers 1 to 10 by 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and 10. Kids, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!